Hello and welcome to a presentation for the Game Making Contest 2021. This is a presentation for the Water You Drawing game. My name is Maxim Boucher and I am the back-end and front-end developer for this project. Hi, my name is Om Kapadia. I am the front-end developer, web developer, and the researcher. Hello, my name is Jishay Monaraja and I am the web developer and back-end developer for this project. To start off, What Are You Drawing is a cross-platform multiplayer game where you can play on the web browser or on an Android device. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. I'm gonna pass it on to Ohm. So as you can see, this is the website for What Are You Drawing. You have Play, Home, How to Play, and Contact Us if you have any questions regarding the game. Uh, for more information on why we made this game, you can head to worldvision.org or press the More Info button. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a quick demo of the game to show you guys the rules. Uh, so I'm going to let Tushane log in as a first player here on, the, on his Android device, and I'm going to log in. Uh, just for the purpose of this uh, demo demonstration, I'm going to play as two players. So I'm going to be uh, one browser here and another browser here. So let's do Bob. As you can see, there's a prevention to prevent other usernames to be taken. Okay, and Elm, you can now log in as your fourth, and the game is going to start. Now, Elm, you can uh, highlight it to you to start explaining the rules. Okay, to explain how to play, uh, what you're drawing, uh, what are you drawing consists of four players divided into two teams, two players on each team. There will be one drawer and one guesser on each team. The drawer will be given a word in which they have to draw and portray to the guesser in order to guess. So as you can see, uh, I, since I'm on red team, I have to draw well, and we are given a countdown timer to draw it. And as a demo here, I can see here, I'm on Ohm's team, on the red team, I can see what he's drawing. Uh, and then I'm also on the on the blue team here. I'm the drawer on this team. And I can see drawing well. On the red team, I don't know what he's drawing, so I have to guess whatever he's drawing. And we have a selection of many different words, which are all connected to the theme of this year's contest, which is proper water stewardship, uh, which aim to educate uh, the players. And so the goal is obviously to work together in a team to get the points and to eventually win uh, the, the game. So I know this is the answer as well, and I'm going to do that well. As you can see uh, on the right, the points will be dedicated. You can see what what team it is, red, blue, and you can see how many points they have. As you're saying, Ohm? As you can see, after every single round, you will be given a brief explanation on what the word is. So since this is well, you will be given an explanation about wells and have to make or sustain wells. And this will be the same case for all the other words. So as you can visibly see, this game is, is fully multiplayer. It's, it's It works live, so as you can see, if I'm going to draw something here, this is going to be fully seen live uh, on the other uh, on another device, whether it's an Android or web. If you can log in as four Android devices, four web devices, two Android, two web, it doesn't matter. It's all inter uh, cross-platform and all live, and that's where uh, the whole focus of the game came. It's, it's the biggest challenge we had to face is was connecting uh, an Android device to a server. It's, it's a very mm -hmm. tough process. There's very little tutorials, and all of them are really bad, and, and we really struggled for about a week to get this to work, which we almost ended up giving up. Uh, but uh, it was a very big challenge we had to overcome, and we eventually did, and, and we're very proud of this fact because uh, it's it's very not an easy process to do. I'm going to hand it to Tashane so he can talk about a little more of the issues we faced while making this game. So other issues we faced was scaling. You can clearly know that a web screen, I mean, my bad, a laptop screen, a computer screen is much bigger than an Android phone or an Android tablet. So scaling was a big issue to optimize the screen size and make sure that it worked and it was clear what you're seeing. And we ended up coming with a map equation solution, but it was we struggled with that. Other issues we had was the game mechanics, the way the Android device would draw and display and the way the web would draw and display was different. And so we had to optimize it whenever we would send it to the Android to web and vice versa. It wasn't as simple as just sending X and Y coordinates. Exactly. The mechanics of both games are completely different and connecting both is a, was a very big challenge. Now, Om, I'm going to give it to you to explain our selection of words and why we use them and why we research them and why we're using them for our game. So as you can see here, this is the document with the words that were chosen for the game. We got rivers, breaks, steams, wells, rainwater, plant transpiration, etc., etc. As you can see, these words were chosen to educate the user and give them an education on proper water stewardship and just give them an insightful insight. Thank you. Just for before your we time. go, we can see uh, that this is the final screen. You can see the team at one and the final points. And I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.